I had to survive, I would want a bucktail. If I wanted to catch a big fish, I would want a redfin. Everybody else is going to say the daughter. I mean, that's what they're going to say. But uh, there's other things that work. I I love to use the Bob Hahn little metal lip swimmer. I, that, that picture I had on the uh, cover of the Fisherman '96. I got that fish, 48 pounds. Oh, that was 50 pounds probably when I caught it. It was 47 when I weighed it in two days later. I got that on a Bob Hahn. Swimmer with one old hooks on it and able to land that fish. So I like that using metal lips because I love the way the fish comes up and hits that in the daylight and the tail comes out of the water slashing on the top. I mean, it's just that's the most exciting thing. Really, my favorite lure would turn around, I would say, daytime fishing would be the small metal lips because I love to watch the fish come up and whack them. I mean, that, that, that to me is my favorite look to see. You know, nighttime would be a dart or a bottle plug or, or a needlefish, but as far as daytime fishing, that's, that's fantastic, great. If I had to survive, I would want a bucktail. If I wanted to catch a big fish, I would want a redfin. I had so much luck with redfins. I've, I've had a couple of 50 pounders with a redfin. I had, a, I had one, one night on a point rock at, in Browns where I had 560 pounds of bass, all on a, all, all on a redfin, a blueback redfin with a pearl, and it was probably my best night of Montauk ever. And I had a 54-12 that night on a redfin. So you, I gotta love my redfin. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Sometimes we loaded them with water, you know, seven cc's of water, for a better cast if it was windy out. But most of the time I would fish them normal and just slow retrieve and. I mean, you know, don't forget you have good nights and you also have bad nights and many times I had Murphy Law nights where, God, everything would go wrong, you know, I'd feel like just a, just a hoople, like I should quit fishing. I would come back, get in my camper and crawl next to my wife and get into fetal position and say, pet me. <laughs> Bucktail is, uh, it's easy to work, um, it'll cast, um, you use it under different conditions as long as you maybe you have some white water. And uh, you can use them at night, believe it or not. Many people don't, but I do. And um, I think it works great. I probably would pick the daughter because I can cast good with it. But when you're talking about wooden plugs, I used to ruin the paint jobs. I used to beat the shit out of the plugs because I power cast it. I would wrap, I, I wrap that uh, 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 plug on the ground and bang it on rocks, you know. So the, uh, after a while, the, the, the plug was all beat up. Absolutely, a darter is the most versatile plug, plug for Montauk. Uh, you can catch fish on the north side, you can catch fish on the south side, you can fish in slack water, you can fish a rip, fish the open beach. It's a very versatile plug. For there are nights when all you need is a, a, a darter. So many nights at Montauk, all I did was put on a darter, fish the same plug all night, caught fish all night, never had to try anything else. It casts great. Um, it fishes really well in the shallow rips at Montauk. Um, a lot of plugs, a lot of other plugs either don't cast as well, they dig in too much. Um, Darters got the right combination for Montauk. It's hard to say. They're probably the best all around. Right now, the easiest is the needle. <laughs> you can't go, you know, you can't go wrong using them. They cast a mile into the wind. 
But I use everything at night. I use tin at night. I use daughters. I use bottle plugs. It all depends on, you know, now we got so much choices.